Good morning, brothers and sisters, and thank you for joining me here on the Alabaster Box. My name is Rosalind. Today, we're going to be reading from the Bible, Genesis 11, chapter 1 through 32. Remember, I do not give my own personal interpretation. I just read the words as they are written. Also, if you have a Bible and you feel led to do so, please read along with me. I, I would love to have you join me. Okay, here we go. Genesis 11, chapter 1. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven and let us make a name, lest we be scattered aboard upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them aboard from thence upon the face of the, all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is, therefore is the name of it called Babel? because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth. And from thence did the Lord scatter them aboard upon the face of all the earth. And these are the generations of Shem. Shem was a hundred years old and begat, Arphaxad, two years after the flood. And Shem lived after he begat Arphaxad 500 years and begat sons and daughters. And Arphaxad lived five and 30 years and begat Salah. And Aphaxad lived after he begat Salah 403 years and begat sons and daughters. And Salah lived 30 years and begat Eber. And Salah lived after he begat Eber 403 years and begat sons and daughters. And Eber lived 40 and 30 and begat Phileg. And Eber lived after he begat Phileg 430 years and begat sons and daughters. And Phileg lived 30 years and begat Ryu. And Phileg lived after he begat Ryu 209 years and begat sons and daughters. And Ryu lived 20 and 30, 2 and 30 years and begat Sarug. And Ru lived after he begat Sarug 207 years and begat sons and daughters. And Sarug lived 30 years and begat Nahar. And Sarug lived after he begat Nahar 200 years and begat sons and daughters. And Nahar lived 9 and 20 years and begat Terah. And Nohar lived after he begat Terah 119 years and begat sons and daughters. And Tawar lived 70 years and begat Abram and Nahar and Haran. And these are the generations of Terah. Terah begat Abram, Nahar, and Haran. And Haran begat Lot. And Haran died before his father Terah in the land of his nativity in Ur in the Chaldees. And Abraham and Nahar, Nahar took their took them wives. The name of Abraham's, Abraham's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahar's wife was Melchah, and the daughter, the daughter of Haran, the father of Melchah, and the father of Ishka. And Sarai was barren. She had no children. And Terah took Abraham his son, and Lot the son of Haran, his son's son, and Sarah his daughter-in-law, and his son Abraham's wife. And they went forth from them from Ur of the Chaldees to go into the land of Canaan, and they began unto Haran and dwelt there. And the days of Terah were two hundred and five years, and Terah died in Haran. Okay, that is chapter 32. Thank you guys for joining me. If you have any questions, because sometimes this stuff can be overwhelming and confusing, please leave a comment in the comment section. And let me know, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that, thank you guys for joining me. I love you all. More importantly, our Father loves you, and He's with us always. Praise Him every day, every chance you get. Thank you, guys. Peace.